What's up y'all, I am Matthew Aran, and welcome back to more Let's Play Dragon Quest XI Switch Demo! Um, so here we are in Cobblestone, and we just got back down from the tour. Up top from the tour, and a giant bird attacked us. Anything can happen in Peter's Playhouse. Nice work, Mr. Grump. Now your dear old mum will won't be waiting for ya, I reckon. Hurry home and tell her all about your adventures. I love those guys. So the ceremony's all done. Congratulations. Now don't tell me you've forgotten where you live all the in all the excitement. Just follow the paving stones, you'll soon find your way back. Alright then. So cobblestone here seems to be a nice a nice homely place. Homey place. Nice homely what is that word? I don't know. I found out that you can climb up this ladder to get a view of it. Here's some uh, barrel kegs here. Barrel kegs, right? You know, I just now found out that um, that if you if you know like the right place to go, seat of seat of agility. I just found out that if you know the right place to go, they actually sell kegs of beer at certain stores. So that's kind of cool. So I don't know if you're having a party or something, you can get a keg of beer. Raw rock from which copper. Uh, okay, so this seed of agility here is a usable item, nifty nut that permanently increases agility by a little. Yeah. Agility 10. It goes up to 12. Cool, so that's like a stat increasing item. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that was there. I'm glad I, I checked those pots. Or that was in a box, wasn't it? A crate. Right, but yeah, there's the town. There's the sun. The sun is setting, but it, it uh, seems to be waiting for us until we progress the... Until I progress the next event. I actually... This is, a, this is as far as I got in the demo. The first time I played this. Uh, can we jump off? There's probably fall damage. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's fall damage. But yeah, this is as far as I got the first time I played this. I uh, I saved at the church over there, and I decided, you know what? Notice to parents: the tour isn't safe for children. Please make sure they know not to play there. Yeah. Please make sure that your children. Uh, don't go see the Joker, uh, the Joker movie also. Oh, wait. Never mind. Making out of the stables back here. Is th isn't this the church? Oh, no. The church is a little bit farther down here. There it is. Hey. I'd love to visit he Heliodor one day. They say there's always something going on there. Apparently is always bustling with people, and the shops are full of all kinds of lovely things. Not like boring old cobblestone. Heliodor, huh? I always remember you when, when you were little going fishing with old Chalky. Who's Chalky? On that funny three-sided rock out by the falls, just the two of you. Oh, you would have been so proud. Now I kind of feel bad for asking who's Chalky. Chalky. So anyway, here's the church. People of Cobblestone, we must give thanks for our blessings every day. Come and say a prayer of gratitude at the church. Sure, let's go. 
you might win any out here, Gimma. I don't think he comes in with you, which is weird. Greetings, my child. It is a good seat. It is good to see the younger, uh, the younger members of my flock taking the time to pray. Now, shall we begin? Uh, so confession is saving uh, divination. Okay, resurrection, uh, bring party members back to life. Purification, pure any poison car party members. Uh huh. Switch to 2D mode, which unfortunately I can't do uh, since I'm playing the demo, but okay. Benediction, remove any curses. So I'm just going to save. Yes. So yeah, that's uh, that right there is as far as I got in this demo. Do you intend to continue on your adventure, my child? Yes. Thank you. There seems to be a library of here in sorts. Or a library of here in sorts. Yeah, that, that I just said that. You can still jump in here. Oh, well, here, you can't go in this door. So yeah, that's a nice, helpful little place. Oh, there you are. Follow the paving stones. Alright then. Seems to be some more houses up here. Does it say the same thing? Ferocious monsters are at large in the villa outside the village. If you must go out into the wild, make sure you're prepared. Yeah, the bat creature is still at large in at Gotham City. Uh, seems to be another way to go out right here. Hey, Matthew, you don't want to be wandering around outside the village after the day you've had. You need to be getting home. Alright then. Nice little river. This place kind of reminds me of uh, Farron Village, actually, from Twilight Princess. Oh, hey, Sandy. Ooh, what's down here? Another path, perhaps? There seems to be a locked door here. What is this? There's something over there. Well... Man, you know what, though? You know what else this kind of reminds me of? Um... That first village from, uh, Spyro Hero's Tale. I haven't played that game in years. And, um... I don't remember. Like, the only, uh... The only area from that game I remember... By name is, uh... Cloudy Domain. And I think I did it all. I would love to play that game again. But it's only on GameCube, PS2, Xbox, and all that. Which I don't have. Well, here's our house. It seems to be right here. There's an item right there. I want it. How do you suppose we get up there? I just left Gemma up there. Okay, she's warps. Oh yeah, here we go. There's an item up there. Jeez. Little piece of pink pine. Hmm. I like how I love how she uh she teleport uh, teleports up there with us. Teleports. Now how do I get up there? Oh, pfft. sorry, pumpkin guy. Uh, whoever had, had those pumpkins in that cart there. It's like, uh, you know, from uh, the last Avatar The Last Airbender, that cabbages guy who always happened to get his cabbages destroyed. My cabbages! Oh, here we go. 
I'm just throwing like I'm just throwing all these logs and stuff. Look at uh, excuse me. Here we go. There's a chest up here too. A flurry feather. What does that do? Whoops, wrong button. Plucked from a great big bird. Alrighty then. And 50 gold coins. Six gold coins. Alright, so let's go in. Oh, her name is Gemma? Of not. Gemma, Gemma, okay. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. What did you say? Um that funny little mark. Lightning flying about the place. Goodness me. Here I was hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Oh. Yeah, I'm a uh... been putting this off for long enough now. You need me to have a little talk. I am an RPG protect protagonist, after all. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and clung to the tour. Hmm. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. That being? of the luminary oh and there we go oh don't ask me what the old fool meant dear I haven't got the foggiest all I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do he said that when you came of age you were to head north to the capital up there in Heliodor I'll show that necklace thingy to the king he seemed to think that if you did that all would become clear clear as mud i shouldn't wonder anyway, that's not clear at all short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about you'll have to leave cobblestone and head over to heliodor Crikey. i know <laughs> Stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. <laughs> oh, that's quite a bomb that just dropped, huh? <laughs> All right, luminary. Um, I didn't mean to. Can I go back up? Oh crap. Okay, I tried to sleep. I think that's what that said. I meant to go back up. Damn it. Amateur itemologist. What if we're uh, collecting diff ten different types of item? I really need to... Important items. A precious pendant. Precious necklace handed to our hero by his mum the night before he set out on his adventure. Okay. Cobblestone home. Hey, there's a ladder here. Can I pick up these pots? Doesn't look like it. Is my room up here or something? Uh, 
No, it just looks like a an attic, a storage place. It looks like it's barely, barely morning out here. What's going on? Having trouble sleeping, are we? Oh, we're still in the middle of the night? Well, gee, I guess I should have read that text. Was well, no surprise after all the excitement today. And uh, your big news. Uh, whenever I have trouble nodding off, I like to go for a little walk. The night air always does me a power of good. Okay, then. Just swing open the door. Where's my weapon, though? I don't, I'm not wearing a sword. I don't have a sword. Wait, can I go in here? Oh, so it's locked tight. Hey, RPG um, NPCs that actually lock their doors to their homes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sami, what, what, what's going on here? This building is marked here. Is this a shop of some sort? Is this a drive through What is this? I, I guess I'm not finding out now. What's up, Gemma? Oh, can't sleep either, eh? You too? You remember this tree, don't you? I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running around trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Something never changed, eh? This tree. Exhausted after a long day, Matthew finally falls into a restless slumber. Then morning comes. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, that's the shop closing team from For uh, Fortune Street. <laughs> Looking good. That smile. Sure, you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. My mother knows these things. 
Oh, by the way, I popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. Money? You visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor. You need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. Okay. I see some dots there on the map. How much are we in? We're 20 minutes in. Hello? I've heard all, I heard all about it from your mother. She said there's an important journey you have to make. And you're, you're just a youngster. Well, before you head off, make sure you visit the shop. You know... Jeez, oh, man, stop doing that. You know where it is. Of course, down the slope across the river, once you've stocked up, headed to the village, interested in the north. Oh dear me. Seems we have a quest here. What am I going to do? Oh, is it a young Matthew? You came all at just the right time. I've got a favor to ask, you see? Just the other day, I was playing with my lad, you know, messing around as you do. When anyway, we got into this flurry... He's got this flurry feather and he loves and well, fool that I am, I managed to let it blow away. I go and get it myself, but I'm not too good with heights. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, he wants you to retrieve his son's fur furry f f flurry feather from the roof of your shed. What's a sleeping hibiscus? Alright, I'm sure you've climbed onto your fair share of roofs. Or roofs. To just find something to climb around. Uh, press B to jump up there. Okay. Well, here you go right here. A little something to return. That's not all. That's not all I've got. I've got a tip for you. Hope you find it useful. So look for a purple speech bubble above your head. Listen to what they have to say and if you see if you can do anything to help. the quest here. What's a... Uh, consumed upon use. Send it. Uh, that can send a single enemy to sleep. Okay then. Oh man. I'm gonna go to the shop and then I'm gonna end this video. Probably save at the church too. Can I go in this door? Oh, there's two doors to it. That's cool. Hi. How may I serve you? Well, we have a Cypress stick. Oh. We can, you can buy potlets here. A bandana. Oh. Huh. Come to my head. Sure. Wait, wait, wait. Wayfarer's clothes, huh? Hmm. I mean, you could buy uh, herbs and antidotes here. Wait. I would like to buy three of them, just cause. Okay.
Yes. And buy the bandana too, since that's a that's an <laughs> that's an accessory. And I get I think that's all I need. Equipment. <clears throat> oh wait, that's a okay. That's a head item, not a not an accessory. Cool then. All right then. So uh, after that, really awkward. I mean shopping session. I'm going to go save at the church and we're going to end this off here because again I don't really have time. I wish I had more time to play this but alas I don't. Oh. Okay, excuse, excuse me. Alright so I guess uh, that's it for this part. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, geez, 26 minutes. I'm sorry for going down long. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this part of uh, Dragon Quest XI Switch demo. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time. And there's a, if there's anything you didn't like about the video, um... Uh, tell me why, and I'll do better. Do better next time. Like this talking, jeez. Oh, hey, Sandy. Woof, woof. Can I pet her? What's the matter, girl? Is someone there? I'm sorry. I don't want to speak with anyone right now. Could you come back in a bit? Okay. So it's actually her dog, isn't it? Ooh, there's a treasure chest here. I mean, I'm gonna have to save again. Oh, we can get one for free there. Can you dual wield swords? Wouldn't that be cool? I doubt it. I mean, since you have, like, slots for two hands. But, that other one is probably for a shield. Or, great swords. All right, here we go again. So yeah, um, um, so yeah, next time I play this, I don't know when that will be, probably two weeks from now, at this rate, um, I will, will go out to Heliodor, is that what it's called? All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I am Matthew Aran, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.